Hey everyone, Justin from justicegood.com here, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to apply a matte finish to your photos in Photoshop. So this effect is really simple, but really useful to know. All you have to do is add one adjustment layer to your photo, and that's Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Curves. So go ahead and select OK, and it'll open up this Curves menu here. So really quick, the Curves menu is based on inputs and outputs. So you just tell Photoshop um, for every shadow or value in this color range, you want it to be this color range. And you can see the histogram here is kind of giving you some information about the photo, like how many shadows there are versus how many highlights. And you can see it's a mostly dark photo. So all we want to do is tell Photoshop to drag up the shadows to be a little bit more gray. So I'm just going to drag this bottom corner up a little bit. And you see that already kind of gives us that matte effect. But the key to this effect is adding one more point and dragging it down a bit so that you create a short straight line right here. And what that does is it tells Photoshop that all of these uh, shadow values are just going to be this solid gray. And then you see the rest of the line kind of follows the original path. So pretty much just create two dots right here, drag the corner up, and then um, play around with this dot to your liking. Based on your photo, it's going to be a little bit different on how high or low you keep it. But that is all you have to do th for this effect, and it's a really handy tip to know to get that matte finish. So this is with the adjustment layer, and this is without. So you can see all of the shadows and the blacks are filled in with a nice dull gray, and it gives it that matte quality and feel to it. From here you can add any effects and it'll all work very well on top of this curves layer. So hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. It's a very simple effect. Just play around with the sliders to your liking and if you had any questions or concerns let me know in the comments below. And once again thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.